What's going on everybody? So I got something pretty exciting to show you here on my iPad Pro. So I was visiting a friend of mine the other day and as you know WWDC is in a week and he just so happened to have an early build of iOS 12 uh, that I could check out because he works for Apple. And I thought that I would give you a quick demo of some of the new features coming specifically for the iPad. I promised I wouldn't show you everything. Um, I actually promised I wouldn't show you anything, but um, I decided to go ahead and show you a few of the features anyway. I'm not gonna say how I got this because I don't wanna get anybody in trouble. As you know, the iPhone 10 leaked early and that guy got fired. So I don't want my friend to get fired from the company, but I just wanted to show you a few uh, really cool new things coming in iOS 12 on the iPad Pro. Of course, there's new iPad Pros coming out on Monday, but I just wanna show you, these are just a few of the features coming to the current iPad Pro, uh, the 10.5 inch and the 12 inch version of the iPad Pro. And these are a few of the new features that are coming out. I think you're gonna like them a lot. I personally have found a few of them to be incredibly useful, and there's just a few tweaks and interface changes as well that I just kind of thought were pretty interesting and I'd share them with you. So here's one of the first new features that I personally really liked uh, that I found here in iOS 12 beta here. What you can do is you can pull applications out onto the home screen. So this is a tweak to iPad multitasking. In the past, you had to be inside of an application and this has always kind of been a feature that you can use uh, inside of apps, but you can now interact with it fully right here on the home screen of the iPad. So you don't have to be in an application. And where I see this coming in and being useful is when you are on the home screen, if you're, for example, sending text messages back and forth to somebody, uh, whether it be in like iMessage or Facebook Messenger or whatever the case may be, you can now just kind of access that right here on the panel. So it's really convenient. You can kind of just, if you want, pop it over here on the other side or you can push it back over here. Whatever makes your life easier, you can access anything you want. I'm not gonna open any messages and show you how that works simply because I don't wanna expose any uh, personal information, but I'm sure they'll show a demo of iMessage next week at the WW Keynote, uh, the WWDC Keynote on June 4th. I'm sure they'll demo this in depth and you'll be able to see how this actually works, but here's just a quick look at the new overlay windows. Uh, what they'll actually call this feature, I'm not sure. My friend is telling me he thinks they're gonna call it overlay window. Uh, I kinda like that, it's gonna be called overlay. So there's now slide over, split view, and overlay. And I think overlay is gonna be a very popular addition to the multitasking features on iPad. So another change I found is that Siri, hello Siri, is now found on the side of the iPad, like it used to be in a little window. It now takes up just this one side. Here, let's ask it a different thing. Uh, Siri, what is your favorite color? So anyhow, that's how this works. It now just takes over the side menu. I didn't actually find any new features with it, but I figured I'd show you just the interface change there. Something else that they've been doing for the past few years is improving the Apple Pencil support. And this is really exciting. I'm not sure whether or not it will come to the 2018 iPad, but for sure it's coming to the iPad Pros. Uh, so it'll probably come to the other iPads because they support the pencil now, but this is a definite feature that I found out is coming to the iPad Pro, and I'm pretty excited about this one personally. I think it's gonna be a really cool addition to have on the iPad Pro, and that's 3D Touch. And how they decided to invoke 3D Touch is through the Apple Pencil. So now when you purchase the Pencil, you're actually getting more features on your iPad. So you pay that $100 for a Pencil, and that seems like a lot of money, but now when you pay that $100 for the Pencil, uh, you're not only just getting a drawing and writing utensil, but you're getting extra iPad features. So this works, I just basically hover over the app icon with the pencil and it'll open up the 3D touch window in just a tiny little menu space. So anyway, I just, I think this is a cool feature. It more or less blurs out the entirety of the background and just gives you this one simple interactable window that kind of hovers over the top of a blurred out background. They should be expanding the support for 3D touch to third party applications. 
Uh, but right now, the third-party services, for example, YouTube, does not have it on their iPad version. I'm not sure if that'll be coming in the future, as it hasn't been released yet to the even developers. Um, so I'm assuming that they will add that functionality in the future, but I really don't know what they're going to do with that. Also, as I was digging around, there seems to be a few new wallpapers for the iPad. So I saw this one, and I did like this one, so here's how that one looks. Um, it looks nice. I don't know whether or not they'll have an iPhone version, but it does look really nice here on the iPad. This is another one of the new wallpapers. It kind of goes along with that iPad Pro theme with the waterline, and this one's kind of got a city up there in the background. It really does look really rich and nice on here. I can't imagine uh, them not including this one in a few weeks. It just looks beautiful. I also found this one inside of the settings app. There's actually quite a few new wallpapers. Uh, this one looks pretty nice. This one kind of reminds me of the good old iPhone wallpapers of before, you know, when the first iPhone came out. It kind of reminds me of the pink water lily. I kind of like this one. It really does look nice on the iPad. It's got some nice color contrast. Uh, with the icons. I think this one looks pretty nice. Some Apple fans may also remember this wallpaper. This was the iOS 9 beta wallpaper. This was shown the day of WWDC and was removed from iOS. Well, it appears to be back in all of its full glory. This is found inside of the settings app. I just thought some people might be happy to see that they brought this wallpaper back. I know I personally loved that wallpaper and was very sad when they removed it, so I was happy to see that they brought it back for iOS 12. And then this is the wallpaper. So I was chatting with my friend and he says, uh, chances are this is going to be the wallpaper that we see inside of all of the future iOS 12 material shots. So uh, when you see all the marketing shots for iOS 12, this is supposedly going to be what we see as the wallpaper that is shown on June 4th next week. As you can see, we're just a couple of days away from June 4th. And there are a few other secrets that may be coming. I haven't shown you everything. I just showed you a couple of features, including some new wallpapers, things of that nature. But there's a lot more coming that I can't tell you about for the iPhone 10. One thing that I did find cool and he told me about that was coming in iOS 10 is actually a new icon for Apple Music, which looks like this. So this right here is the new Apple Music icon. It's basically gonna look more like this wallpaper. So it's gonna look nicer with the iPhone 10. According to what he's telling me, it's gonna be an exclusive icon for the iPhone 10, but I'm not entirely sure if that's true. It may come to all the iPhones. Uh, it's not on my iPad, so I'm not sure if that's going to come out later. This is the pre-beta. It's like alpha software. It's not entirely uh, fully baked. I'm assuming next week we'll see some more features coming out, but this is just an early glimpse at what is on iOS 12. Again, I'm not even supposed to be showing you this, but I decided to make a video uh, just to ease some of your curiosity about what will be coming next. Uh, there's also gonna be some new Animojis, and I can't tell you all of what they are, but I think you're gonna be pretty excited when you find out which emojis they are. So if you're as excited as I am for WWDC, I hope this helped ease some of that curiosity. Um, I can't wait to find out more about what's coming out. These are just a few of the features that they've been developing and working on. Unfortunately, I cannot share the link to this software because I'm not even supposed to have the software and I don't want to get my friend in trouble and if I leak the software there's a good chance he could get fired or even arrested as that's happened to the people especially like the girl who leaked footage of the iPhone 10 um, her dad got ar uh, arrested I think I know he got fired from Apple but I think he got arrested too anyway so long story short um, I just can't get anything out and I don't want anybody to get in trouble but yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, um, I personally cannot share this software or send it anywhere and uh, whatever, but I thought I would just 
ease some curiosity and let you see a little bit of what's coming to the iPad and a, a hint at what's coming to the iPhone 10 in iOS 12. I can also attest that the iPhone 10 is gonna get a dark mode to work with that OLED display and I'm really excited for it. I don't have iOS 10 on my personal uh, iPhone, but I do happen to have seen how it works on the iPhone 10 and they have fixed a few things, including the control center and that dark mode feature. So I'm really excited. Anyway, I will follow up on this video on June 4th when we have the official public beta out of iOS 12. Once the keynote's done and you've seen everything that's coming out, I think we can talk a lot more about what's coming out next with the iPad, the iPhone, all that good stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, leave a like down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.